Just last hour, we learned federal agents have seized the phone of one time lawyer to, to Donald Trump, John Eastman. He's the lawyer who advised the former president on how to overturn the 2020 election results. Court documents allege the feds executed a search warrant last week. Eastman filed a lawsuit challenging that warrant's legitimacy. In it, he asked a court to force the feds to return his phone. According to Eastman, six FBI agents stopped him while he was walking to his car after having dinner at a restaurant. Eastman says agents patted him down and that they forced him to unlock his phone before taking it. The seizure happened the same day that the Fed searched Jeffrey Clark's home, a Trump Justice Department official. The actions part of the investigation into efforts by Trump allies to undo the election. Meantime, the January 6th committee just issued or scheduled a surprise last-minute hearing for tomorrow. The panel announced it this afternoon. The reason? The committee wants to present what it calls recently obtained evidence. Lawmakers also teased new testimony from a witness, but gave no word on who that witness might be. The mystery move comes just days after the chairman, Betty Thompson, said the next hearing would actually be sometime next month. So far, the committee has held five hearings, each of them aimed at building a case around former President Trump and his influence on the January 6th insurrection. NBC's Julie Turkin on Capitol Hill tonight. Julie, really unusual for this committee. Yeah, Shep, that's exactly right. In the last five hearings, we got notice of them at least a couple of days before, including subjects and topics, like, for example, focusing on former uh, Vice President Mike Pence and the pressure campaign that the Trump administration, including President Trump and his allies, had on local election officials, the Justice Department, and so on. But tomorrow's hearing really catching everybody off guard. Reminder, the House is out, as is the Senate, of course. The July 4th recess well underway. This this hearing being scheduled suggests they have something so pressing that they cannot wait even a single day longer to hold this hearing. Like you mentioned, we don't know who the witness will be yet, but we do know it could be somebody that the committee already spoke to behind closed doors. Remember, they've interviewed a thousand witnesses. They have 140,000 pages of documents and issued subpoenas to a hundred other people. It could be somebody like Alex Holder, who Benny Thompson, the chair, said last week they need more time as they look over his footage. He's the documentary filmmaker behind uh, that hours-long documentary that was planned to come out about the Trump family. Uh, and it could be someone like Pat Cipollone, who we know the committee is interested in hearing from on a public stage. We have not yet heard, again, who the witness will be for tomorrow. But I want to leave you with a historical fact that I saw from John Dean, a former White House lawyer who testified, of course, against President Nixon in 1973. He tweeted tonight saying that the only surprise witness during those Watergate hearings was the man who revealed those infamous Nixon tapes.